Hi hey everybody, I'm Jamie, otherwise known as Yamaha Rider J, for YouTube purposes. And now I'm actually talking to people. So the other day, or six, yes I already did, yeah, the other day, um, 6 or 4 Honda featured my close call with a kangaroo in his video. I got, he, he uploaded a video of this one close call and I thought I'd just be like a little put, you know, one of those, one of those spam and just like, check out my video. So I did that. He, he, he actually went and six for himself went and checked it out and commented on my video and said, if you want to be in a video, email me. So I emailed him the um, video, and a few weeks later, he uploaded his video with my clip in it. And over the night and a bit through the next day, I went up about uh, 76 subscribers. Uh, I was on 125 before he uploaded the video. But I already had 110 before I started moto vlogging, or whatever you can say it is that I do, because I don't exactly moto vlog. But, so I, I counted myself as having 15 subscribers, and now it's going up to 91. So, now I feel like I've actually got people to talk to in my video, like, I don't, normally I didn't speak to the camera because I just felt like I was talking to no one, I was, felt like I was talking to myself and uploading it to the internet, no one watch, you know, with 91 people, I'm talking to someone at least, what are those cows, I think that was that newborn cow I saw the other day, right past here, I saw a wet calf, which looked like a freshly born cow, trying to stand up. So I, I reckon I went past and was trying to take its first step. That was pretty cool. Got it on the camera. I'm not sure where it is, but it's somewhere in the many months of footage. And that was an old car. So yeah, more, more people on my channel, which means it, I don't feel like a fucking idiot talking to myself anymore. And I suppose you know, there's people on my channel now. One of my first videos was a walk around off my bike. Telling you how cool it was. I am now up to 7,000 Ks on it. This bike's no longer, definitely not new anymore. I've worn this baby in. My baby, I've worn it in. So I reckon today, I'll try and do some rookie review from some first time rider on what I like about a bike. I've ridden on the road, since I've gotten this bike, I've ridden two bikes now, or two other bikes besides this one. I rode a, um, 2000 and 6 GPX 250 and the other one was a 2013 Ninja 300 and to start off the review I think this bike's better than both of them put together this bike's got the more CC, it's just, it's so much more better, and, and prettier, and more talky, got more talk, but yeah, I will do a review, but right now I'm in the middle of the road, like, you know, can't do a review right now, I've got to pull up somewhere, <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'll just, magically click to the next
point in the video unless I have something important to say in the meantime. So, see you at the, I guess we'll say maybe the bay? Maybe? Yeah, it's too packed. Have to find somewhere else to go. And it smells here still. Right, that's the next best place for uh, a few might be the narrow lookout. Mm -hmm, it's closed. I was gonna... Where am I gonna go now? I don't know. How about here? <laughs> this looks like a good spot. <laughs> Better than me, right? <laughs> like someone might stop here. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here, fool? Like, I'm fucking videoing myself, man. Look at me, Mark. Yeah. Now, I'm pause. Oh, this is my work. I'm just... I need to put an ad up here. 7,000 Ks. Oh, over. The first gear. Fuel. Heat. Clock. Gear. Speeds. RPM. <laughs> um, yeah, RPM. You got trip one, it's been, oh shit, 8,000, 808 K since my last wash of the of the entire block with like, wash, like moto wash, and since I last lubed the chain, that's gonna need another lube, 800 Ks. And it's been 107 Ks since I filled up on trip two. What's this average? I don't know. And then we got the average. I got average 4.6 liters per 100 k's. And it's been 1,870 k's since my last service. Yeah. I bought a new windshield. I wanted to stick that down. I'm just an idiot. I don't like to paint on the original stuff. I don't like to put stickers on them. So since I wanted to put this on here, I bought a new one. And as many of you have seen my close call with the kangaroo. <coughs> sorry, got a bit of a cough. I bought the kangaroo whistle. It's very dirty. As I said, I need to clean my nice pretty lights. I got my oggy knobs or sliders as you call them. If you bought different colors, you can just you know, take that off. It's a bit hot at the moment. But I'm 
saving up for a new muffler. Well, I want to get a new muffler. Hmm. ABS brakes. I've obviously got rid of the fender. Got a fender eliminator. Had to do some wiring. You have to always make sure you get a another light on your. I'm gonna play. I want to get a new red light. Let's have the blinkers coming up here, so I can get rid of them. I would like to replace these. With some black with some black and blue ones. Too bad I just went for a ride because I probably need to do my tire pressure and they're fucking hot. So yeah. I'm very happy with it, even though it's my first road bike. Cost me seven thousand dollars right away. So it's um most of you should know but it's a two it's an inline two. So two cylinders four valves per cylinder. So it's got a total of eight valves three hundred and twenty one CC. Not sure about the HP. Many places I look has a different HP number in which is a fine HP we yeah, they have a different cause you get from the engine you can get one HP like a, with a certain number of HP from the rear tire you get a totally different so uh, I don't even worry about the number of HP I went for the blue model because I didn't like the red on Yamaha's and the black was shiny and had red on it so I want the blue one for the Yamaha Blue. But, you know, when I'm looking at the 2016 Black R3, I'm like, damn. If only the black one was 2015 with that color. Yes, it is. Looking, it's a very pretty bike. Get you a bit of a sound, but I have to turn the scene off. Connected. Now I'm off to go get cat food because my cat's a whiny little fucking baby and just he wants cat food. He wants dry cat food. He doesn't have any. So he's whinging at me before I left. He was just meow. Fucking my Tyson, my swish. Yeah, baby. You fucking never ask for food. Ooh. Now to go get the cat food. Cause my cat's a bitch. Right, I'm back with the cat food. <laughs> 